This is the state this morning. Hello. This room looks cozy. I caught Little Miss on the couch when she shouldn't be on the brand new one. Sometimes she's too cute. I'm going to save my advent calendars to come back home because this morning I have to go out in this the weather. Oh my goodness, there's so much snow. 8 a.m. I'm gonna take a coffee to go, of course. Today is not my morning. I almost ran out of gas. And then when I went to the gas station, they were all full and they were out of bronze and silver. So they only had the really expensive one. Um, I'm 15 minutes early for work. Thankfully, the snow was terrible on the way here. I'm gonna go in and see you guys later. Okay, that drive was terrible, but we got some surprises on our front door. I don't know who from. So pretty. That was on our front door. I feel bad because obviously I was away from the house so I didn't get to shovel the sidewalk and I literally have like 15 minutes until class now so I won't have time. Guys, it wasn't like this two minutes ago, I swear. It's like, it's like a blizzard outside. It just went zero to 100. I mean, for real though, that is, I don't know if you can see how much snow has piled up in the last like hour, but that is insanity. Snow is going like a snow globe. It's like going like around and upside down and all over. Okay, so I'm pretty much out of food at home. So I think I'm gonna go to the market just down the road. Went in for three things and ended up bringing back four bags of groceries. I got these smoothie things from Evive. I'm gonna try them tomorrow morning. Some Neo Peak. Got this flavor too. It looks like you just put the cubes in the drink and mix it together. So I'm gonna try that tomorrow morning as like a pre-breakfast breakfast. Got the bacon and I also got the pepperoni. Okay guys, I'm gonna go shower. Now I said I would save this one for a special occasion because it's got my, my man on it, my boot, my boot thing. I always get so excited when I get brand new groceries in the kitchen. It just feels so fresh and I feel so put together. And then when I have so many groceries, I end up cooking for like a family of 10 or something. And it's really only me in the house. So I end up having a lot of leftovers. I mean, it's Monday today and the day that I filmed this was Saturday and I still have leftovers. But honestly, these potatoes were so good. I got the tri-colored ones. So it was the yellow ones, the reddish ones and the purple ones. And they were so delicious. And then I also baked some broccoli, which is my favorite way to eat broccoli and the most delicious way by far. Then I also baked some Brussels sprouts. Oh my God, I've been trying to open this. Not even kidding for 20 minutes. It was in this moment I realized I was totally not independent and the feminist inside me was dying a little bit, so I called Steven and I cried. This is lame, I'm so mad at myself. What's wrong with this jar? Me and you, baby, me and you. Somehow, some way, I finally got the door open, so I managed to actually have my gnocchi, which is my favorite food by far. And I had these potatoes on the side with this cooked broccoli and this salad, as well as the Brussels sprouts that I mentioned earlier. And it was so delicious. I was so pleased with myself. I was so annoyed at that jar. I don't know, these little things that annoy me sometimes just are like 10,000 out of Two. For the rest of the night until midnight, I just kind of watched Good Girls and TikToks and just relaxed and unwound from the whole week because Saturdays are really my busy days. I mean, I work from 9 a.m. until 1 in the city and then when I get back home, I work from like 2 until 6, so I was pretty exhausted and beat. So I just kind of relaxed, Googled a couple things, watched Good Girls. I replied to some emails and some YouTube comments. I know it's kind of late for that, but whatever. This lighting is terrible. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I meant to do a lot of things tonight. Eight. 
I ended up doom scrolling on TikTok. But tomorrow is a new day. I'm gonna be productive tomorrow. I'm gonna do a whole reset. I'm even gonna do a ballet class. Honestly, today was just really long. And I think I just needed a chill evening to not doing anything, not think about um, editing, not think about dance, not think about choreography, just to chill and do scroll a little bit on TikTok. I think I need to tend my eyebrows. I'm gonna do those right now. I'm gonna shave my eyebrows now. So they just kind of come like this, and you like that unibrow, if you know what I mean. That's probably good. And then I'm gonna use this Sunday Riley serum. It smells really nice. And then this one is my ultimate go-to. I cannot use anything else. If you guys watched my last video, you know I suffer from eczema and really, really dry skin in the wintertime. And I got a couple comments that were really nice giving me recommendations. So I actually ordered the CeraVe and the Cetaphil just today. And I was pretty sure I heard a noise earlier and I went to go check on Luna. It was of course her, she knocked stuff over. So I had to clean her room until like 2 a.m. But she's so cute, so I forgive her. She's like the cutest cat in the world. Oh my goodness, like look at this cuddling. She's so sweet, she's so adorable. For those of you who don't know, I got Luna while I was in Romania and I brought her here. She was so tiny when I brought her over. She used to be like three pounds and now she's chonky but she's beautiful regardless hashtag body positivity she's so fluffy so cute and so loving and then this is glitch man okay i know it's like midnight it's like 1 a.m but i just had to set up her little thing her little water fountain it's so cute <laughs> I know I showed the snow already, but I had to show it again because as soon as I woke up, it was like 30 more centimeters added. I mean, right now, as I'm looking outside of my window on Monday morning, we have at least a foot of snow on our patio, which is crazy. Crazy. A David's Tea Advent Calendar, and I'm so excited because today's number five, I think, and I didn't open number four and number three the last couple of days, so I'm actually going to be opening number four and five today and picking between the two. I'm so excited. I got Cherry Berry Punch. Number five is, oh no, Mother's Little Helper. So it's gonna be a minty tea I'm gonna start with this morning. I think I'm also going to be doing a ballet class at home because I looked outside this morning and there's way too much snow to be leaving the house today, so I'm gonna do a ballet class at home. It's really good. I think I showed you guys these coasters already in the last vlog, but I've been using them and I love them. I already opened my body shop calendar. I guess I haven't shown you guys fully what it looks like. So it opens up like this and then it has all these decorations. Now it has boxes in here that you open for each day. It also has all out drawers that you open like that. I've been trying to keep up on my TikTok of me opening these. I've only been successful in three days out of five so far. So go follow me on TikTok to keep up to date with me um, and I'll put the TikTok talk handle down here and I want to do a face mask and look I got one in my advent calendar how perfect is that I still have no idea what possessed me to wake up so early this morning but I felt super productive so I put the dishes away I cleaned some more I put the diffuser on and cleaned it a little bit I made the bed obviously then I did like three loads of laundry I just felt like I was on a roll I vacuumed the whole house so these are just clips of me cleaning up and I love having a reset Sunday morning just to feel like on Monday morning I don't have to do a million billion chores when I'm trying to work at the same time and I was so excited to try these weird pod things this morning um, I really enjoyed them I had them this morning as well and looking back at the clip I definitely would have added less milk it became a little bit too milky but it was still really delicious and I would have blended it as well because it was just a little bit chunky then as I waited for it to dissolve I made some breakfast I vacuumed I made a coffee because I cannot survive without coffee in the day. I know I had my tea earlier, but this girl needs her caffeine. So for breakfast, I made a sandwich with vegan bacon. I had some berries on the side for some extra antioxidants. I put hummus on the bread with the vegan bacon and I put some ketchup, some nutritional yeast, some vegan cheese, some leftover veggies from the salad the night before and it was so delicious. I gave it to Steven the next day and he actually was convinced it tasted like bacon. So yeah, that's from a meat eater. Anyways, this sandwich was really, really good, but as I was eating it, I realized it was missing something. It was missing pickles. It definitely needs pickles or something pickled to add to it, but it was still good nonetheless. If you watch my previous vlogs, you guys know that I've been going to the studio pretty regularly, and recently, I've set a goal for myself to actually do a full variation by the end of the year, and I think I'm gonna up that and not just do a variation, but do like a mini ballet and try to do a little presentation on YouTube or something. Comment down below if you'd watch that, if I do like a live or something, because I think that would be kind of a cool idea to bring everybody together. I know I know a lot of people are still stuck online and it kind of sucks and the weather here is really depressing 
relaxing, so I feel like I just need a goal for myself to set to get me through the winter pretty much. Especially since professional ballet isn't really my job anymore, I still love it. I love it even more than when I was doing it. Like I mentioned in my last video, I was saying how I'm doing ballet for myself now. I'm not doing it for anybody else. And that's been really, really, really therapeutic for me, to be honest. I mean, I fell in love with ballet because of the grace, because of the fluidity, because of the actual athleticism. I felt so good doing it. And then when I did it as a full-time job, I just felt stressed all the time and burnt out. And I attribute that mostly to myself, not anybody else, but I just haven't found the love again since I started doing it for myself. That being said, I still absolutely loved being a ballerina, but what came with it was just not worth it anymore. Being so far from home, first of all, also sacrificing my life pretty much, my social life, my family life. I also had no financial freedom and now I have more financial freedom than ever and I'm still not even earning like bank or anything, but it's just so much nicer than wondering Am I going to be paid this month? Am I going to be paid fully this month? Etc. Not to mention the injuries involved with it. I mean, I do ballet like two or three times a week now, which is perfect because I still feel like I'm still working towards something and I still feel like I'm staying in shape good enough. But before I was doing it six days a week, sometimes seven days a week, shows at like midnight almost, um, and my body was just giving out. And now I feel stronger than ever. I know I don't look technically as good as I did before, but I feel more confident than ever, and I think that's more important. Dancing should be inspiring, not only to others, but mostly yourself. I mean, I enjoy going to bar. I used to dread going to it when I'd think, ugh, I have to look at myself in a mirror, I have to have my colleagues look at myself, and I have to listen to criticism about my body, about my personality even, because dancing's tied so much to your own personality. The way you move is your personality, pretty much, and I don't know, that criticism to me, I just took it to heart. I'm a very sensitive person, so I'm so happy dancing in my living room or my bedroom in today's case, and I feel more confident than ever. I know I don't look like I'm the most amazing dancer ever, but I feel like I am. And that's how you should feel when you're doing something you love. I mean, you should feel amazing. You should feel like you're kicking butt. You should feel like a superhero. And now I feel like I'm unstoppable when I'm dancing. Before I used to get so disheartened because I couldn't get something. Now when I don't get something, I work on it and I hit a milestone or I hit a tiny little milestone, not even a large one, but I just feel so much better that I'm doing it for myself and I don't have the pressure anymore to please other people that seem to like never be pleased because I couldn't fit into their mold. And I think that goes for a lot of dancers. That being said, I realize my place and I know I'm very, very fortunate in my circumstances um, and I wouldn't change anything at all. Anyways, I hope that made any sense to you. Comment down below if you feel the same thing or if you even agree with what I'm saying. <laughs>
back home. <laughs> Who is it? Hey guys, let's see. Oh my gosh, that's looking pretty good. So this is the present that was left on our front door the other day and it's actually an ornament, but it was full of chocolates and candies and it was from our local Lions Club, I think which I still have no idea who they are, but I'm guessing it's a local country club. But anyways, this is the dinner that we had. It was pretty much just leftovers. Like I said before, we made way too many leftovers. And then the rest of the night, we just chilled and watched RuPaul's, had some cozy tea. I have watched every single season, every single episode of RuPaul's Drag Race, including All Stars, but Steven is pretty new to it. Hello, everybody. Merry Christmas. So we started watching season 10, I think, or season 11. That was it. Enjoy vlogging on the weekend because it kind of feels like you guys are hanging out with me. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Stay safe and bye now. Wash your ears and keep your feet.